This morning's Coffee With is with Cindy Lauper and Dr. Jeffrey Weinberg. Satellite interviews furnished by the National Psoriasis Foundation and Nor Novartis Pharmaceuticals Corporation. Cindy Lauper, Dr. Jeffrey, welcome to WJZ this morning. How are you both doing? Great, thank you. <laughs> we are gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna jump into this because I want to save a little bit of time at the end uh, to change subjects. But we're talking about psoriasis, Cindy. I had no idea that you uh, you've been dealing with this for as long as we've known you. Why 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 step out of the? Uh... No, <laughs> no, four years, only four years. <laughs> Only four years. From what I'm reading here, it sounded the, the, the press release made it sound like you've been dealing with this forever. But it probably seems four years with psoriasis probably seems like a longer seems time like, than that. Seems like. <laughs> yeah. How, how, do, how does yeah. how does this come on? I mean, is it just dry skin, Doctor Jeff? Did you just take some Lubriderm and take care of it? I mean, what what? How does this come on? Well, that 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 would be nice. Um, uh, generally, people have a predisposition to this, and something sets it off, whether it's an infection or some other trigger that we're not aware of. Um, but it's a very common problem, about 7.5 million Americans. That's a dirty trick, you know. It is. You, you think you're fine, and, and you think a little do, Lubriderm would do it, but it doesn't. It's, it's, it can be really difficult to deal with. For me, I was on tour with Chair with it. And it covered my whole entire body, including my head. I was doing the reality show with it. And, you know, after a while, you try and cover it with makeup. Then you got, like, turtlenecks. Then you got, like, then you don't even want to wear anything because it, it hurts, you know. And, you know, I had it pretty severe because I thought, oh, oh, I could do this. It'll go away. It didn't go away. And um, then... Uh, I became involved with the National Psoriasis Foundation and Novartis and the I'm So Ready campaign, which um, helps people understand that it's not just a rash. And I was lucky enough to meet uh, Dr. Weinberg, who is really, was really kind of cool and just listened. Well, you did. You didn't say you have to do this, you have to do that. You just listened, asked questions, and and it helped me a lot because okay. I didn't even talk to people with I didn't talk to people with psoriasis who had it as bad as me. It wasn't just a little tiny rash here. It was covering my entire body, including my head and my ears. I was like, after a while, I was like, ah, oh, I can't even. I stopped working. I stopped working for a little bit, and now I'm better, and I can actually do the things. I can go to England for the opening of Kinky Boots. I can, you know, go sure. and make another record. I can work, you know? Hey, Jeff, uh, real quick, I just want to ask you. Now, if someone's watching, how do they know if they've got psoriasis, as, as opposed to just dry skin or shingles or something? What is going to be their, their clue? They're going to see usually either in the scalp or the elbows or the knees a red area with thick scale um, on it, like a thick stuck on scale. But you know what? I, I don't expect that the average person necessarily knows. I mean, they could always uh, look it up online. But most importantly, they should see their physician if they're not sure. Hey, Cindy, we're going to dedicate this to a guy that I know you knew. We first met you back at WrestleMania 1. We're dedicating this whole thing to Roddy Piper. Oh. Rowdy Roddy Piper. You, oh, you know Roddy. what? I smile when I think of Hot Rod. And when he passed, I was thinking about yeah. you and Hogan and, and Wendy Richter and, and Roddy. And, and I see Nikola Volkov in town all the time. So we're going to send this one out to his Roddy memory. made everything, yeah, Roddy made every, everything fun. Him and Lou, I laughed a lot. Those guys were great. And Roddy, even though he was nasty sometimes, but he had a sweetness about him that was unbelievable. He had this wonderful sweetness. He made everyone laugh. He was just such a great guy. And, and I'm sorry he passed. I, I'm, the only consolation is that maybe it was, peace, it was peaceful in his sleep, you know. Gotcha. But God bless him and his family. I love him. I love him. Well, this one from, from one of wrestling's great entertainment divas to all of his fans out there, much respect to Hot Rod. Guys, we got to go. We'll get everybody to the website, and we'll, uh, we'll move along. Thank you so much, guys. 
Thank you. Thank Peace. you. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.